called the Inflation Reduction Act. Yeah, everybody will say there's a, it sounds like tax benefits and everything like that, but actually all the programs re result in money in your pocket. So they'll give you things like uh, rebates, you know, they'll give you things like tax credits, even though you don't pay taxes, all kinds of ways they're giving out money this time. Uh, they're giving you freer health care, even free health care. They're giving you uh, prescription drugs and uh, big bargain prices now. They're going to keep fixing drugs. They're going to save you on uh, the limits of, uh, you know, how much you pay for prescription drugs and, and how much you have to pay out of pocket. So after a certain amount, it's like $2,000, you don't have to pay anything. And that hurts seniors a lot. So there's a lot in the health care. There's a, a lot in buying automobiles, particularly if they're electric. You get up to 7500 on a new car and 4000 on, on a used car. That doesn't mean you have to pay taxes. You still get the money. See, they're using it in ways they use the government what it has that makes sense. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to you because you want cash and do something. And, and then you do it. Uh, somebody sends you a check. Yeah, you know, it's all through it's and give out around inflation so much, but it's around global warming, making your house more productive. And actually, the, the data I've seen so far is that if you use this fourteen thousand dollars to make you know a new air conditioning system, new uh, a new roof, a new uh, you know washer and dryers and all these kinds of things, you can get. Money for you will save on your heating bills and air conditioning bills like a hundred and forty thousand dollars over like 20 years a hundred and forty thousand dollars so that's why they're giving you fourteen thousand dollars if you use all the uh, stuff that they have uh, that they'll invest with you in you want to put on solar okay that's a thing see if you do that you're gonna save a ton of dough <laughs> not not paying the electric company right so it, it makes sense so that's why they're doing this and then if we don't pay the electric company, we don't need fossil fuels, yada, yada, yada. You know, and they hope to cut fossil fuel emissions. They hope that, you know, the carbon emissions, whatever they call it, uh, by 40% in the year 2030. That's what this bill is do. Going to cut our emissions by 40%. And not 40% of what it was now, 40% of what it was, that's almost 15 years ago or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, it's amazing what it's doing. And they're doing it with $340 million, billion dollars, uh, and on corporations. It's not really that big of an increase. I them to take something out so they don't get hurt. But that's the name of the game. Got to outlive these suckers. <laughs> that's what you got to do. Uh, uh, kinds of things you get. Okay, so if you're looking for uh, Obamacare, if you were looking for Obamacare uh, on their website now, you know, healthcare.gov, you know, there was subsidies until the end of this year. Then it, it was going to raise your premiums, maybe 10, 20 percent. I don't know specifically, but it's going to be a big cut. And a lot of people, they said about uh, three or four million people were going to lose uh, health care because of the, uh, the incentive they have that was going to phase out at the end of this year. They ex extended that, I think, for another three years. So the healthcare.gov is the best healthcare deal in the country. You know, everybody's going to say it's cheaper, whatever. It's going to be cheaper if you don't get coverage. And the greatest thing about uh, Obamacare is that all the preventive stuff is free. So that's what's cool. All these other people that give you, uh, you know, bare bones health coverage. But you want preventive stuff. You want to get, you know, you know, hey, am I doing okay? You know, uh, what's going on? Uh, all that stuff is free. You know, uh, and, and that's that's what these other things don't do. And they don't cover. You get surprises. And don't forget, you know, if you're a member, uh, uh, ask a... <laughs> I think I'm going to move out of here. Yeah, I should learn that because all of a sudden I'll be sitting here. I'm by, I'm by Abe Lincoln. And... Uh, uh, let me, I'll be there in a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm by Abe Lincoln, and, and every time I went away, something will happen. And I think it's all uh, a function of Homeland Security. Homeland Security is the ones who screw up that.
<laughs> the Wi-Fi around because they got all their other little magic wands in the air or whatever. Uh, they'll probably screw something up. Uh, it is. But the Biden thing, here's another thing too in the Biden package. Not only is it going to you know, give you like $14,000 uh, to make your house better, uh, they also are going to create 1.5 million jobs. And they're not just any kind of jobs. These are jobs in future industries, okay? A million and a half uh, new kind of jobs that are going to create. People who make wind turbines, people who make solar panels, people who make all these things that we're going to need, you know, in, you know, to get rid of all this fossil fuel. So that means jobs. That means training. That means free training to get good paying jobs. So this is back going back to the industrial age. I mean, how this country got screwed and the middle class got screwed is when we left manufacturing, okay? We left manufacturing and we sent it overseas and the people making manufacturing, you, you were making a hundred grand a year without a college degree. So a high school diploma got you a hundred grand a year in the manufacturing. They, those jobs left, okay? So starting in the 60s or so, they slowly and they're down now to just a fraction of what they were. Well, they're gonna be growing. We're looking for not only that, but also high tech manufacturing. We want to build uh, computer chips here. We can't rely on Taiwan if they, <laughs> if China, if China invades, then we're screwed in the whole country without having a chip manufacturer. So all these things, and uh, because of the turmoil, you know, politically wise in the world, man, we, we're just going to be manufacturers again. Remember those days? You're not old enough to. I remember graduating from high school, <laughs> and the kids who didn't go to college, man, started making a hell of a lot more money than. I ever made for a long time yeah and that's that's what's going on so that's why you look at these things you see where the opportunity is for you it's going to be in the future not today you could start looking today for the sources and one source is of course I call this a lot your career one-stop center you know you go there make an appointment to see what's there because they're going to know about it first when it comes for you to get money and they have so much training money now they can't spend it all there's too much money uh, your local governments like her once i don't know how to spend all this money uh, and this is from the old covid stuff that's still sitting in you know the city county state offices you know <laughs> that they're trying to figure how to shovel the money out so go get your share okay <laughs> and that's important to do uh because man this this is a way to get a leg up and and you get opportunities by doing some effort you don't get opportunities by sitting and waiting somebody to knock on your door opportunities don't knock on your doors yeah <laughs> you've got to go over and knock on their doors because these opportunities don't make money from you if the opportunities make money from you that means they want to get your money then they knock on your door. That's why you go to Google. People will knock on your door and say they're going to promise you a, a great job and don't worry and just give me a lot of money. Yeah. No, no, no. If you don't have money, don't do that. If you have money, who cares? You do it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But the people who don't have money and need that job are the ones that get sucked in to do it because they don't know their alternatives. The alternatives are things like are happening now <laughs> in the... Uh, uh, in Biden's new legislation. I mean, that's a, $400 billion. Man, I wonder, uh, how could you spend more $400 billion <laughs> to beatings? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, off the night. Uh, and and uh, I said, well, you're going to beat inflation by spending money. And that's a little funny to me, but it doesn't matter. You, you got <laughs> you to make a better life for yourself. So these, these things, when the government spends money, uh, they're opportunities for you to improve your situation. You know? And don't forget, they're not going to uh, advertise it. They're not going to uh, come to your door and force it down your throat. You're the one that has to get out and start fishing around. You start by co contacting your two senators and your congressmen. Contact all three. Get on the mailing list of every three, all three of those people. So you know when things happen, when things are going, and you have a friend there, you know, uh, to call, to call, you know, if somebody screws you over at the one stop, you call your elected official and say, hey, they screwed me over doing this. See, that, 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 that elected official can call the one stop and they dance, man, because <laughs> they dance to the politicians. They don't dance to you and me because you don't pay their bill. 
the politician pays the, uh, the bureaucrat's bill by voting their wages. So they want to make the uh, politicians happy. And you don't do anything to their paycheck. <laughs> the politicians decide how much they're going to get. So that's what you got to do. That's why you got to use the system. And using the system is learning where the power is. Uh, the power isn't <laughs> with you or your uncle or somebody like that. The power is with elected officials if it's a government office. And they have the power, more power than any lawyer you could hire for $500 an hour. Uh, you're a politician who will work for you for free, uh, could do more damage and more help you know, to a government agency that doesn't help you than anybody making $500 an hour from you. First of all, you don't have $500 an hour, so you, you won't know the difference. doesn't matter. What's more important is that you have to know you have that option. You have to know that you live in a country where that option is given to you. You have to know that uh, you have to take some initiative to use it. Yeah, the, 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 you know, the easiest thing for the politician to do is just come and promise you in a TV ad that they're going to make you rich and famous. You know, shit, you know, they won't. Well, you're going to make yourself rich and famous. you got to use the system to do that. And when it screws up, you go to those people and help you make the wheels turn a little easier. OK, it uh, doesn't work all the time. Nothing works all the time. Uh, and that's another thing we all have to realize is that nothing works easy like a salesman try to <laughs> tell you oh just do this and you'll be a millionaire and all that kind of shit uh, uh, that doesn't happen that way and we like to believe it does and then but the problem is if you believe that then you get pissed off it doesn't happen that way and you give up and you can't so roll up your sleeves roll up your pants because the water's going to get deep <laughs> or whatever it is and be prepared for it you're going to go out and realize it's not going to be easy. It may, it may be easy, but you get lucky and get easy. And that's a nice problem, right? <laughs> but if you prepare for hard stuff, then you'll be there. You know, and then you'll keep doing. And, <laughs> and you'll figure it out how to get what you need. And a lot of times what happens, you find out what you were trying to get you thought you need. There was something better. You didn't know about the asking for that because you didn't know what's there. And that's why you have to go out and find out what's there and using what's there, using what's out there waiting for you, not tr trying to pretend that you know the, what in the world is best for you. God, nobody knows because we don't know what the hell's all out there. You know, we're basing it on we think we know what's out there, so we need that. You know, and, and that's not right. <laughs> it can be, but it may, most of the time it won't be. But you dig out, you make it, you whatever, you know. And, and once you get out there and start looking around, man, that gives you more ideas. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, why, oh, yeah, that's a better idea than I ever had. Why didn't I do that? Yeah, that's what happens. And you don't get that sitting home, reading, <laughs> Googling the internet, you know, for stuff. No, you go and talk to people. And that's what's so great about, you know, the sources that we give you uh, are, are all free sources that legally have to talk to you. You're, you're a client. You don't pay them any money, but you're a taxpayer. And that's why. So a nonprofit organization, they have to call you. A, a business, oh, you know, fuck you, I won't answer the phone. <laughs> they, they, they do that too, but they, uh, lawfully they can't. So you have... Uh, a more legitimate right to call every elected official, every government official, or whatever, and ask them a question and ask them for help than you do for any country, any company, or anybody else in the country. Yeah, uh, and that's a tool that we all have. I mean, this is a third of everything in our economy is government, a third. So by not using it, not learning how to use it, man, you're having a third of everything go by. I mean, it's just, sure, you may get there, do whatever. I mean, I always thought of it like, well, the, the expressway, I could drive to New York in four hours using the expressway, or I'm not going to use that expressway, man. I'm going to use a back roads, and it'll take me eight hours. So I'll eventually get there. <laughs> but shit, there's an expressway there, the government built. <laughs> and it gets me there in half the time. So it's like that, getting a job. You know, starting a business or whatever. Every business in this, uh, every Fortune 500 company is living off the government. And they figure that out. It's easier for them uh, 
to, <laughs> to, to, to find a law, find a loop or something in the government to get money than it is to get a customer. So that's why they have lobbyists that do that and find more customers <laughs> on Capitol Hill that will give them a lot more money than a real customer does. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that's too bad, but what the hell. Uh, the point is there are programs there for you too and the help that's out there for anybody, whether you're a millionaire or not. Uh, and I, I used to, this is how I learned, was helping rich people do this and helping millionaires become billionaires. And that was not fun after a while. They don't even need the goddamn money. You know, there's so, half this country can't pay a $500 bill if they got it today. They're the people who need money, not people making a couple hundred grand a year. Why are we worrying about them? We got half the United States here that a surprise $500 bill they can't afford. Man, you know, they're the people I think only worrying about it, and that's what I hope we can do. Let's go help. And that's why even us, if we make too much money, we give it back to you. And that's why we're now counting the, uh, we're counting the applications, reviewing and picking out our 60 winners or so. Uh, and it's probably take another week or something like that to do it. But we have a new, uh, a new one starting uh, and you could apply for that. And that's, the deadline is September 4th. And we'll have to give out another 40,000. That's what we do with our, our profits. We give it back to the people who made it for us. And really it's you. And now what, the, what you as a member do more is not only give us money to help people who are members that need the help, uh, but you're helping people. The members help people with the resource. The members help people with ideas. The members help people by sharing their experience on how they got the money and what they did and how they got it and where they got it or whatever. And then we also have training. We have training, live video training. There's two or three live video trainings every week that we have and that's over on let's go help too so get over there sign up for the training go to events e-v-e-n-t-s there's a tab there on let's go help too uh that will you sign up for the meetings and i think the tuesday wednesday and thursday they change a little so uh keep an eye out on that on the events page yeah you know, and then don't forget on both platforms you ask us you tell us what you need money. I'm a disabled man, tried to find many things. It's been hard for me. Yes, it is hard, Bruce. Uh, what to do, there's a lot of free help. If you can't afford the $20 on Let's Go Help, go to this, go to letsgohelpfree.com. Letsgohelpfree.com. I got about a half a dozen reports there that are all free that will help you like the first one there i think is the best it shows you eight seven or eight government offices that you don't even have to have a computer to get the money from you can call them and they will help you solve financial problems they're all in different kind of areas you call i would call every one of them if i had a disability like that to see hey when you call them you don't say hey i want a grant note you say hey i have a disability i'm struggling or whatever do you have any programs that will help me? Or can you suggest some other programs that may be able to help me? That's what you have to do. And you have to do that a dozen times every day until something happens. There's no shortcut to that. You know, you're trying to find a shortcut in Google and that's a long cut <laughs> because you'll get so sidetracked. Uh, Bruce called 2-1-1 and that's, an all, that's not bad. You guess, you always start with 2 one one But if you call 2 one one they really don't know everything. 211 to me is better after you call, then you search yourself, say under disabilities. And then when you search 211 under disabilities, you'll find maybe 20, 30 organizations in your area that help people with disabilities. That's what you want to know. Because you talk to them that are there to help people. The 211 people is to help you point you to information. They don't really help people, you know, with specific. Uh, services or money themselves, they just sort of point you. So you want to
and one, and then there's also Find Help, F I N D H E L P dot org. And remember, if, if you don't know the area very well, stay away from anything that is not a dot org or a dot G O V, O R G or V G O V. That's the only people you want to talk to. Okay. The sound stopped. Really? Again? <sighs> Does anybody hear me yet? <laughs> Is it again? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like right on the side of the White House. So I don't know what kind of stuff is going to... Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could hear me? <laughs> or, yeah, it stopped. Oh, good now. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes, I mean, it, it is, it's a numbers game, getting help, getting anything, getting a job, getting a date, you know, uh, anything you want to do in life. So, but you got to know who to call. And that's what 211 and find help is terrific about. You get a listing of 20 people who are in the business to solve your kind of problems. They're the people you want to talk to. You want to, know, you want to talk to experts, you know, who know how to solve your problems. The 211 lady just knows she's the expert on what's in the database, not solving your problem. So, uh, and they may or may not be right, things change. And, you know, it's sort of like Google. All the things I give you are in Google, but you'll never find them, right? So the same thing is too complicated. So that's why you get, gotta get down to another level of persons who help people like you every day. There's who you wanna talk to. They know the successes, they know the failures, they know the pit stops, not the lady who answers 211. <laughs> I mean, not that they're bad, but that's just a, a one step in the process. You wanna talk to people, you want an expert. You know, if you, if you want brain surgery, you don't want to read a Google thing about brain surgery, right? You want somebody to talk to somebody who did 100 brain surgeries. Man, you know, that's what it is. And that's where the power is in information. Talking to people who've done this a lot of times. So you know the pitfalls. Otherwise, you have to go through those pitfalls yourself. You know, and that's painful. That's why most people give up. Yeah, because it is hard. So you have to know and be able to cut through, have the stamina, the resilience that you're going to fail. Plan for failure. Don't plan for success. Success is easy. <laughs> but, so if you want to join us, we're at lesgohelp.com. If you don't have money to pay for our help, then go to lesgohelpfree.com. So you got letsgohelp.com or letsgohelpfree.com. Okay, so you get a lot of good stuff at Let's Go Help Free. And actually, I'm, <laughs> we have a separate report for every state I'm, for people with disabilities. So if you remember, uh, we could give you that. I'm working on trying to get that up on Let's Go Help Free also. But it may take a little bit, yeah. But we have it ready for members. Uh, so thanks for putting up with me. Talk to you soon. <laughs>